gonna jump in? Hey! Hey! Woo! Woo! <laughs> you were just playing in this pool the other day, weren't you? Yeah, and it got freaked up. And now it's frozen. Two days ago, playing in the pool. Well, you guys recommended, to, you like my haircut? It's a little short, I know. Well, you guys recommended to us to take a look on Craigslist, see if we could find a Royal Palm Tom Turkey to go with our Jenny, to go with our female. And we found one. We've got to drive an hour, but we're gonna go and get one. So come with us to get our new top. Well, we're here and they say they have turkeys. We'll see what this setup's like, cause, oh, they got some coops in the back. Cause there's not a lot of land here. So let's go see what they got. here picking up some turkeys and we met some viewers we had no idea that they watched us and they had no idea that we were coming to get a turkey so just want to introduce you guys real quick hey i'm lance and i'm kayla mm -hmm. and we have a small homestead here in little independence missouri <laughs> and i am a turkey and goat breeder that's what i really look for and lance i heard you don't watch our stuff as often no I'm, I'm <laughs> busy. that's all right well let's have a let's have a look around at everything all right sweet so what do we have going on you said you've got about an acre of land an acre of land yes and what all do you have going on out here i have uh turkeys uh standard bronze narganza and royal palm okay we got isa brown americana and barred rock egg layers and then over here we have all of our runners our uh, indian runner ducks black and fawn and white uh, Rowan, Peking, and um, I think some apple yard mixes. <laughs> and over here we have our Nigerian dwarf goats, our dairy show goats. We have one buck and the two Nigerian does with two doelings. And so with your new babies, you've got six, six and now six here? Six all together, yeah. yeah. So and they're super friendly. Um, I do bring them in the house because they are damned raised and they're not as like pet me friendly as a bottle baby. And then what do you got and over we here? we have yep. our two silky roosters over here. We have a blue and a buff. And we have more silkies and a brooder and hopefully I got more hens this time because I wanted to have broody mamas on my homestead. And then you said you have rabbits as well? We do, we have a lion head and a lop and they just had a litter of kits. And I'm really, and they're all black and het for albinism. And uh, hopefully we'll get some lion head lops where they have the lopped ears and the poofy mane. That's what I was going for. Now, what do you want to accomplish? Or you just like having a lot of animals <laughs> for pets? Or do you sell, do you sell any eggs or offspring or anything? I sell eggs right now. But uh -huh. when I get an incubator, because ironically no one wants to go broody right now. Okay. I will start selling Royal Palm turkey poults uh, probably next summer. <laughs> selling Narganzit and Standard Bronze. I'm not looking forward to raising more Isa Browns because they're just not for me. They attack the rest of my birds when they don't get along. But uh, So what's been your favorite breed to have I so love far? the Americana. Okay. I love the blue, green, and turquoisey colors. But uh, Buff Orpingtons would be my next best because I've heard they're very broody along with the soul. What about with the ducks? What's your goal with the ducks? The ducks, I'm going to selectively separate them so who breeds with what so I can also sell their pure hatchling. And then what about with the goats? What's your, what do you my want to do with Nigerians, those? Nigerians, they are my show dwarf dairy goats and I plan on showing the two dolings this year. Uh -huh. And uh, I also I also sell uh, babies that I can no longer keep so these dolings I have I will keep and whatever babies I produce from my buck I will be selling those. And then how about with the and then how about with the rabbits? You just sell them the offspring, or what do you don't sell them? The offspring is pets. I mean, I mean a lot of people raise Holland lops also for meat, but that's by choice. I like having cute, fluffy, lop-eared rabbits <laughs> as pets, so they're super cute. Well, should we see what 
what turkey we're getting here. Should I grab our tub? Oh, okay. Come here, big yo. There you go. That wasn't so hard. We're gonna have to change his name though. Can't be two Jakes on our place. <laughs> I didn't need two Jakes either. <laughs> All right, well thanks a lot, Kayla. We'll take good care of yeah, no problem. your turkey. We appreciate it. I'm thanks glad. For, I'm glad it's going to a good home. And thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching our channel. got the turkey home and you can tell we didn't put him in with the main flock right away and you might be asking yourself why we're not opposed to putting him in right away we've, we've had kind of mixed reviews from past times we brought chickens home and put them in with the flock where some people would tell us to separate them for a while put them on some medicated feed sometimes the stress of the drive home bring them to a place they're not used to they can be you know you can see right here he's trying to figure out his environment where he can get to he can already see the other if the flock through the outside over here so he's already starting to get his, a lay of the land. And of course he was in with a whole bunch of females and another male. So he knew his setup there. He knew his place in the food chain. He knew that he was second command to another Tom. And now he's gonna be the main guy. So we'll give him a few days over here to get accustomed to, to the, the farm, be able to relax. And then after maybe a day or two, we'll bring the female over. And we'll let her be in here with him so they can know that they're a pair and they're together and then we can put them in with the main flock. So what do you guys think? When you get new chickens, turkeys, ducks, do you just put them in with the flock? Do you keep them separated? What do you guys do? Love to hear your thoughts on that. And I guess we'll find out what our security's like because he's gonna be pushing on this fence. So we'll see what he, uh, if he does any damage to my handiwork here on the chicken wire. Well, let's just say the ducks are enjoying their pool. We moved it over to their yard. The boys weren't gonna use it today. It's a little too cold out. It's like 50 degrees or just under it. So thought we'd move it in, let the ducks have some fun. Probably the only time the Pekins will let me get this close to them. <laughs> Guys, just wanted to say have a good night. We appreciate you watching. Thank you for all the comments. We really helped on our journey to find a new turkey. And we don't have a name yet. His name was actually Jake and uh, we can't have two Jakes here, so. We'll come up with a new name. If you guys got any suggestions, let us know. Can't be King Arthur, or King Arthur the second. We, we need to do something different, but give us some suggestions, and we'll see you guys on the next video.